This is the FBI Mobile Command Center that was set up right behind the Rexburg Police Department to help them with the extradition process. Lori Vallow actually had a status hearing in Kauai this morning, and her attorneys mentioned that she would be getting on a flight this evening. Once she gets here, she plans on fighting her $5 million bond again. Lori Vallow's time on the island of Kauai is dwindling. She stood with her arms crossed at a status hearing Wednesday morning as her attorney approached the bench. Yes, Judge, I stated at the bench conference. She's due to be picked up uh, sometime this afternoon or this evening by the uh, transport team from Idaho. They are here on island. I believe she'll be flying out this evening. Lori's defense team filed more paperwork today requesting any documents, photographs, evidence, and any material the Madison County Prosecutor's Office may use against her. She is also requesting the judge in Idaho to lower her bond, which is currently set at $5 million. She is facing two felony counts of desertion of a child, plus charges of obstruction, solicitation, and contempt. Her attorney said she won't be talking to detectives during their travels from Hawaii to Idaho. Should not be questioned without an attorney present um, during, the, during the transport, while waiting for the plane, or when they land in Idaho. Lori has left a path of twists and turns in Arizona and Idaho. In Chandler, her husband was shot and killed by her brother, Alex Cox, who claimed self-defense. Then she pulled her kids, JJ and Tylee, out of school and moved to Rexburg, Idaho. By the end of September, both of her kids vanished, and she married Rexburg local Chad Daybell. This is Chad Daybell's house right outside of Rexburg. It's where his previous wife, Tammy, died mysteriously in her sleep two weeks before he married Lori. Now there are private property signs around the house, and they've made it clear they're not going to talk to the media. The newlyweds moved to Kauai, where they lived in Hawaiian bliss for almost three months until Lori's arrest. Chad is an author of doomsday books, and according to court paperwork from last year, Lori claims to be a god sent to gather 144,000 people for the second coming of Christ. The founder of Avow, which stands for Another Voice of Warning, a preparedness group in Idaho, has taken Chad's side, saying it's all a misunderstanding and refuses to comment. Oh, thank you, guys. Are you sure? I'm so far beyond being sure I can't even Is tell Chad you. Is Chad here? If he was, I wouldn't even tell you. And I do want to point out that after talking to the Avow founder at his door, he reached out to me online and said that he wants to let Chad present his case in court before he comments. Now, right now, Chad is not facing any charges in this case, but so far he hasn't told police where JJ and Tylee are. Meanwhile, Lori will have a court hearing on Friday at 2 p.m. Reporting in Rexburg, Idaho, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.